Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. If you're looking for your horoscopes, you've come to the right place. Click the down bar or the comment section, find your zodiac sign, hit that timestamp next to your zodiac sign, and it will jump to the point in the video that's important to you. I'll see you over there. Bye now. E. Ray Taronic here. Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I want to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Don't forget... Mental Chatter Musings is celebrating Legio Hunt this month. Our book of the month is Perfectly Fine Christmas. There have been plenty of reviews rolling in, but we would love to see yours. So don't hesitate to buy Perfectly Fine Christmas as a stocking stuffer and even leave a review for Perfectly Fine Christmas because we would love to hear what you think. And Legio would appreciate the support most definitely. So definitely check out Legio Hunt and Perfectly Fine Christmas for the month of December. In addition to that, check out on Tuesday, since we're covering Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't forget to jump on over on Clubhouse and check out uh, Diverse Shelves. Oh, yes, Diverse Shelves, definitely at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, especially if you're a reader. It's where you could talk about um, upcoming books that you're excited about. It's an open discussion. Um, I actually really love that room. Um, so definitely check them out, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Clubhouse Diverse Shelves. If you're on YouTube or even Facebook, check out Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves very informative and entertaining reviews. And if you are a reader, you would definitely appreciate it. Last but not least, my novel, Deadliest Intuition is my newest release. I would love for you to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do, of course. It is a psychological thriller. So if you're into psychological thrillers, I would love for you to take a look at what I have in store for you. Deadliest Intuition is available wherever books are sold. Let's get into the astrology. Hello Libra, Simona Rising Sign people, e Ray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you're looking for Sunday, you can find that on my Facebook page in written form at author e Ray Taronic. I am going to talk about a couple transits for Sunday though, because they're important. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, it lets me know you appreciate the content that I'm putting out and let's get into it. So on Sunday, number one, Chiron goes direct. This it's an Aries, which directly aspects your sign. It's your area of relationships. So you're going to be healing a lot of your relationships with Chiron going direct at eight degrees, especially if you have placements between, I'd say, five and 11 degrees of, you know, any signs. It's going to be aspecting and healing those areas. OK, now, if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Sagittarius or Leo, this is going to be healing coming into your relationships through you communicating. Maybe you communicating with a sibling, maybe you communicating with neighbors, people in your networks of people. Um, maybe you communicating about neighborhoods. Friends can help you to accomplish your goals. You know, social groups will help you as well. You'll be healing your image within your so within your social circles as well. With this healing going up direct, it's going to bring you opportunities and assistance as well. You know, romantic partners will want to partner up with you. Uh, you know, want to get with you. Children will want to. You can heal your relationship with your children. Uh, you'll have those opportunities. You'll have opportunities to participate in different creative endeavors that will bring you healing that will heal your relationships maybe you're partnering with people that you know that you always wanted to do something with but you guys never got around to it maybe you had a tiff here a tiff there now you've got that healing here so they're helping you to expand your reach this could even be friends at a distance from you because it it sextiles your area of gemini as well as your area of aquarius so 
This could be someone at a distance from you. You could be healing what you think and preach, your education and skills, your morals, your spirituality. All of that can garner that healing if they have those placements between 8 to 11, no, 5 to 11 degrees. Now, do, 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 do I want to talk about the friction? I don't really want to talk about the friction because that's just home and family and career, your relationships. But because Chiron is direct there with healing, it's healing your relationships and career and your relationships and home and family. So there you go. Um, and that's good because on the same day, Venus goes retrograde. So those fights and, and things can pop up within your relationships with you and your relationships because it squares your sign and it squares Aries. But because Chiron is there healing things, that'll help things out. Even when, uh, even more so when the sun moves over into Capricorn uh, sometime on Tuesday, okay, uh, later on in the day. So the sun will be there heating things up in home and family and illuminating where things need to be healed so that you can do that. All right. Now, Capricorn is going retrograde in the area of romance, creative endeavors and children as far as home and family. Money you you used to make with home and family. Um, money from the past that you've been waiting for could come in from home and family. Um romantic partners that you used to deal with could come back in old issues with you and romantic partners could pop back up you know um because of that venus going retrograde and it's going retrograde at 26 degrees so if you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees of capricorn um you know or any of the other signs this is going to be aspecting you directly you know with that that going retrograde now, um, let's see. I mean, because it's already been there, but now that it's going retrograde, it's more facing lovers in the past, money in the past. You're going to have to work harder for your creativity and things like that because it's pulling from that and, and making it not, uh, not move forward as fast. So it stifles it a bit because it's looking to the past to see where you left something back there that you need to garner or grab, okay? Now, moving along on Monday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 28 degrees. So you might be dealing with somebody who's a little immature. Maybe you're dealing with some type of instability in your area of communication with a sibling, with someone in your networks of people, with a neighbor or something like that, especially if you have placements between 25 and 29 degrees of Sagittarius. The good thing is, is that at 28 degrees, the sun is going to sextile Jupiter and Aquarius. So it's going to bring you some sort of lucky opportunity to uh, maybe even go hang out with um, a child, a lover, or someone within a creative sphere. Someone could uh, assist you. This is lucky opportunities or assistance to garner back what you lost or accomplish some sort of goal by communicating with a, a romantic partner, with a child, with someone within a creative sphere, maybe someone in your networks of people or a sibling, you know, maybe it's that immature person that you're dealing with. Okay. <laughs> but either way, something is coming in. It's bringing you some type of lucky opportunities or assistance, which makes sense because Chiron is an Aries. That's the other area of opportunities and assistance for your romantic partners, your creative endeavors, and your children, our relationships. So maybe someone wants to help you, you know, someone, someone, you know, wants to partner with you or something or help you out in some sort of way on Monday. Now, also on Monday, uh, around 7 a.m., I'd say, Cancer, the moon in Cancer is going to trine Pallas and Pisces at 13 degrees. So if you have placements in Pisces or Cancer between 10 and 16 degrees, a blessing uh, through or um, or because of your talents, you know, can come through. It can increase your worth, your money, your reputation. You could be rebuilding your status, you know, um, in some way. So this would have to do with your career, you know some blessing is coming in through career or whatever it is you master maybe it's during your daily routines that this is coming in maybe this is a new job because it's training the sector of work health daily routines and where you are of service to other people so there's some blessing coming through because of your talents and your basically stabilizing something you're basically increasing your reputation you know there you have it <laughs> so um 
on Tuesday, the sun starts off in, in Sagittarius at 29 degrees. Okay, so this is where your hard work can pay off. It can help you push through things, you know, as long as you're utilizing your intuition. But this is the same day. On the same day, like a little later in the day, the sun is going to move into Capricorn at zero degree. And that talks about you finding other jobs. You know, that talks about, um, you know, not only you, all of us at that zero degree, that's about working multiple jobs. Okay. But it's also about using your intuition to know what to go for and what not to go for. And it's also about handling things with diplomacy. Okay. Now, first of all, with the sun in Sagittarius at 29 degrees and your hard work paying off for you and you utilizing your intuition as far as your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, and your networks of people. If you have placements between 26 and 29 degrees of Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, this is where your relationships can show up for you through communicating, where your friends can even help you accomplish goals or a neighbor, maybe even someone in your networks of people. But that's definitely aspecting you. OK, now then you have this sun moving into your sector of home and family where you might find yourself doing different jobs, multiple jobs for a home based business. You might even be buying another home, you know, multiple homes. You know, that's something that can be aspecting you. OK, now with it being there, the sun being there, it's going to be there for you know, quite some time. It's going to be there for, for several weeks because it's got to go from zero degrees to 29 degrees, zero degree to 29 degrees. And it moves a degree a day. Okay. So you're going to see that area of home and family being a highlight, you know, being a focus for you. Now, your blessings over the next several weeks are going to come in through your sectors of Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So you'll have opportunities to garner shared finances to bless home and family. You'll have opportunities to work behind the scenes on things that you're passionate about, even if it's sex and intimacy, even if it's shared finances, garnering those. Something maybe you worked on uh, in your solitude, maybe you made sacrifices for, those will show fruit, those will bear fruit for you. OK, and you'll feel it automatically, you know, on Tuesday, if you have placements between zero and three degrees of any of those signs. That's funny, because as soon as that I said that what came out was the Hierophant card and the Ten of Pentacles. And this is about money, wealth or establishment, some inheritance through a job or maybe through a mother figure or the mother side of the family. Some type of money is aspecting where you kind of didn't know whether you're going to get it or not. It's kind of up in the air. You know, the hermit is reverse. So, you know, with the hermit being reversed, maybe you just didn't have the information about it or either you, you know, you're not following your, your, okay. Because of these, these, this money situation that's going on with this, with the home and family, with uh, this generational wealth, it's been putting you in a position of having unbouts of isolation, maybe loneliness, uh, maybe positive social time, you know, needs to be had. Um, it also indicates a refusal to listen to advice which can result in anger or resentment. So be very, very mindful of getting yourself into a situation like that, okay? Um, you know, with the uh, that, that card upside down, in addition to you having the emperor card upside down, talks about inflexibility. You know, if you don't want to take advice and you're inflexible, you're rigid, you're domineering, um, you know, that can make you take a step back. OK, because inflexibility does not bring you forward. OK, I'm hoping this is not you. Um, hopefully this is somebody that you're dealing with that's being inflexible and dominating, you know, somebody within a family and family dynamics over money. You could definitely be dealing with that this week. OK, so just be mindful of that. Now, I think I was talking about. OK, so I was I talked about the with the son there highlighting home and family It's going to highlight ways that you can garner money and resources because your area of Scorpio and Pisces sextile this area if you have placements between zero and three degrees like I said you'll feel it off rip and this is going to be work health daily routines and where you are of service to others maybe even with a home-based business you're making some type of money or garnering resources you could be garnering resources for health you could be garnering resources for a pet as well or buying a new pet or getting assistance for a pet 
Um, I talked to you about the blessings, you know, behind the scenes, shared finances, you know, trines the Virgo and Taurus. Uh, the friction is going to be with your area of Leo and Aries, with, with Libra and Aries. So you, your image with home and family, you know, you might say some things or do some things and it messes with your image within home and family. But your area of relationships is squares as well. Healing is there. So I wouldn't really worry about it. You can heal your relationships. All right. Just, you know, be mindful of your tongue. Be mindful of what you're saying and things like that. Now, what is up with all these cards popping out? They are really about to get me to flux. I'm putting all of these back. And if they want them to come out, they'll come out again. Now, also on Tuesday, Ceres is going to, it's already retrograde, but it's going to enter Taurus retrograde. So that means it's going to come in at 29 degrees. So if you have placements between 26 and 29 degrees, this is nurturing coming to your area of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, sex and intimacy. That is what you're going to be focused on nurturing you know, that area. So you can build your resources there as far as shared finances, build your resources to have the endings and new beginnings you want, build your, um, nurture the sex and intimacy that relate, you, you know, your relationship and things like that. You're going to be working on that. Um, especially if you have those placements, like I said, between 26 and 29 degrees, um, of Taurus, that's going to be important to you. Now, at the same time on Tuesday, the moon and cancer is going to oppose Venus and Capricorn at 26 degrees. So if you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees of cancer or Capricorn, these are obligations that might pop up for you for a career or a home-based business and it's going to oppose home and family so you got things you need to do in home and family things you need to do within a home-based business or for career and and you're going to kind of have to balance that you know maybe you need some advice from somebody um you know a mentor or something who's more experienced to help you out to help you get through the work to help you uh you know fight through the harshness or the conflicts of it okay so you can um you know keep moving forward there's something coming through here um either travel with a lover you know either you're making a choice to travel with a lover or there's some type of communication coming towards you about a love relationship or a business relationship a new venture that you want to go on and this is a second chance so maybe this was already on the table and now you're like okay it, do i really want to do this you know do i really want to go on this new journey but somebody's going to be contacting you about it okay and with them contacting you about it about going on this new journey you want to make sure that you're not being inflexible or too rigid okay you might be you or someone else could be losing perspective on the situation take a step back and remember that flexibility is necessary to build you know a solid relationship even if it's a business relationship okay that's very very important you don't want to be inflexible now on Wednesday, the sun is in Capricorn at zero degree. We already talked about that and all the aspects that are going to be uh, coming in for you for the next several weeks because of the sun being there. We talked about that. The moon in Leo at 10 degrees is going to oppose Saturn and Aquarius. So this for you is about friends, goals, and social groups. And something there opposing your restrictions and responsibilities that you have with a lover, with a child, or within a creative endeavor. Don't let your friends get you into trouble or overindulge. If you can't do it, if you if you can't hang out, you can't hang out. Let them know. Be assertive. You don't have to argue or fight with them. You can't do it. You can't do it. Okay? You need to focus on, on different things. Now, at the same time, but not at the same time, about two hours later, the moon in Leo at 11 degrees is going to square Uranus and Taurus. So something shocking is going to pop up and impact your worth, your share of finances. So it could be a bill, something impacting your share of finances where you got to come out of some money, sex and intimacy. It could be um, because it's your area of the, 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 the Leo squaring it. Okay. So this is friends, goals, and social groups. This could be a goal you were trying to accomplish as far as sex and intimacy. This could be, you know, that's hampered that diminishes your worth a bit you know um this could be endings and new beginnings that you wanted to have you got to put a lot of extra effort into them you could be putting a lot of extra effort into sex and intimacy you could be putting a lot of extra effort into accomplishing goals with money and resources it doesn't necessarily have to be a fight or an argument 
you know, about these things. It could also just be you putting in a lot of hard work, you know, but because this shock is here, I'm thinking it's going to be something popping up out of nowhere. It might be, like I said, it might be a bill. It might be you having to put, you know, like extra energy into sex and intimacy, you know, but it could challenge your worth or your resources in some way. Okay. Yeah, it could challenge your worth or your resources in some way. Um, dang. If you have placements between, I'd say, mm -mm -mm, 8 to 14 degrees of Leo or Taurus. Yep, it might be a um it might be a bill popping up or something like that or maybe it was a money goal you were trying to accomplish and it you don't accomplish it or it seems like it's harder to attain. Okay? Don't get into any conflicts. That's going to be important. Let's ask let's talk to our let's talk to the angels, ancestors and spirit guys about, about these oracle cards. Let me ask for messages um what you're going to be dealing with for uh Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, messages of truth and clarity that will help Libra on their path to their highest vibrational good. Libra, sun, moon, or rising sign people. Messages of truth and clarity for, oh, whoa, 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 That's too many. But they did flip over two for me. So I just need one more for you for this part. Okay, all right. So what you're going to be dealing with, we got... It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let creativity take flight. So this is prompting you to be enthusiastic, optimistic, and creative, okay? Positive changes are on the way. A welcome relief from troubled times. You could be traveling or relocating or get the opportunity to. Wonderful news is on the way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. Awesome. You have some success and public recognition coming in for you. Now, let's ask about your likely outcomes for this week, particularly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Likely, most likely outcomes. Most likely outcomes that you're dealing with, Libra. Most likely outcomes. Messages of truth and clarity that will help Libra on their path to their highest vibrational good for their most likely outcomes. Okay. Uh-oh. Now, what card was it? All of these cards flipped over. Um, I think it was this one because this is the one I have my eye on. I'm going to shuffle a few more times to see if they want to give me anything else just in case. One more. All right. They gave me one more. All right. So this is your most likely outcomes for uh, this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in particular. Wow. It's time to go after your dreams. <laughs> Do something that expands your horizons and let creativity take flight. We got the, we just got this card, so you got it again. So you know that's very accurate. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunity. So you're going to be doing that. That's going to that's one of your most likely outcomes. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. That is awesome. And your last card is don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas should be implemented. I hope these messages helped and um, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye now. E. Ray Tyronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I want to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Don't forget... Mental Chatter Musings is celebrating Legio Hunt this month. Our book of the month is Perfectly Fine Christmas. There have been plenty of reviews rolling in, but we would love to see yours. So don't hesitate to buy Perfectly Fine Christmas as a stocking stuffer and even leave a review for Perfectly Fine Christmas because we would love to hear what you think. And Legio would appreciate the support most definitely. So definitely check out Legio Hunt and Perfectly Fine Christmas for the month of December. In addition to that, 
check out on Tuesday since we're covering Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't forget to jump on over on Clubhouse and check out uh, diverse shelves. Oh yes. Diverse shelves. Definitely at 7 PM Eastern standard time, especially if you're a reader, it's where you could talk about, um, upcoming books that you're excited about. It's an open discussion. Um, I actually really love that room. Um, so definitely check them out. 7 PM Eastern standard time on clubhouse, diverse shelves. If you're on YouTube or even Facebook, check out Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves very informative and entertaining reviews. And if you are a reader, you would definitely appreciate it. Last but not least, my novel, Deadliest Intuition, is my newest release. I would love for you to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do, of course. It is a psychological thriller. So if you're into psychological thrillers, I would love for you to Take a look at what I have in store for you. Deadliest Intuition is available wherever books are sold. Let's get into the astrology. Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for the week of December the 19th, 2021. And this is going to be um, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I am going to, even though... Sunday is in written format on my Facebook page at author E. Ray Taronic. I still want to talk about a couple of transits that are going down on Sunday because they're important. So let's get into it. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. Okay, so um, Aries is going direct on Sunday at eight degrees. So any placements you have between 11, no, between five and 11 degrees, those angles are bringing in healing through Aries, through your friends, through your social groups, even your goals um, will be accomplished through healing. You'll be healing communication with siblings, people in your networks of people, uh, neighbors. You'll be healing your relationships. You'll have assistance and opportunities through your areas of Gemini and Aquarius to heal, uh, you know, things you've said, your image, your first impressions through what you think and preach, healing your image with people at a distance from you, um, your morals, your spirituality. You have assistance and opportunities to expand your reach and heal your image through that expansion of your reach with the help of your friends and social groups. Now, in addition to that, Gemini, you'll also have um, your areas of friction that normally square, like Cancer and uh, Capricorn, that normally squares your money. This is where healing can come in and you can garner money. You can garner shared finances. You can garner sex and intimacy. You can garner uh, healing with things that you're passionate about. Okay, because of that going direct. So check to see if you have any placements in any of those signs between that five and 11 degrees because you're going to feel that healing as of now. In addition to that, um, you know how can Capricorn, uh, Venus is in Capricorn, but it's going retrograde today on Sunday. And with it going retrograde in your area of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, you're going back to things that you're passionate about, that you used to be passionate about and overlooking them again. Past lovers come back into the fore. Past situations with your lover come back into the fore. Um, shared finances that are that is old to you, you know, can be paid to you now because it's going back and it's healing that area. You still have to put in the effort, but you have more of a, a chance of getting it with that healing in Aries, especially if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Cancer and Capricorn, you could really see yourself healing sex and intimacy, healing your money, having the endings and new beginnings that you want to have, particularly in shared finances and with your passions. Okay. So those are the things that I really wanted to talk about for Sunday. It's going to be retrograde the planet Venus for until like January the 19th. Okay. So let's move along to Monday. On Monday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 28 degrees. Now, remember, this is your sector of relationships. Okay, so relationships from the past are coming back in. But on this day, you could be dealing with somebody around you that's kind of um, just erratic, 
unstable and mature. You know, it, it squares your area of Pisces and Virgo, which is um, career or home and family. It could even be a home-based business. If you have placements between 25 and 29 degrees of Sagittarius, Pisces, or Virgo, you might want to, you know, watch out for that. And hopefully it's not you being that way and it's somebody else. But regardless, there is some sort of opportunity coming in that is helping you to garner uh, either a relationship you know that you that you were looking for maybe this is an opportunity that you thought you lost you know but this lucky opportunity or assistance is coming in from someone and it pertains to what you think and preach your education and skills you expressing your philosophy this could be someone at a distance from you offering you an opportunity if you have placements between 25 and 29 degrees of Sagittarius and Aquarius now around 7 a.m. the moon and cancer at 13 degrees is going to trine Pallas and Pisces. So if you have placements between 10 and 16 degrees, this is a blessing um, uh, through your talents or be, you know because of your talents. This can increase your money, your reputation, travel could be indicated here. Um, you could also rebuild your status. So this is about money coming into you, money or resources through career or whatever it is you master if you have placements between 10 and 16 degrees of course okay of pisces or cancer and that's on monday so monday is actually a good day there's some opportunities coming in on monday now on tuesday the sun is in sagittarius at 29 degrees and this is where your hard work can pay off for you you can push through as long as you utilize your intuition um, and this is really good for your angles of aquarius and libra also aries and leo along with Sagittarius. So just look and see if you have any placements between 26 and 29 degrees of any of those signs. And you could see yourself, uh, you know, pushing through some type of challenges and your intellect and hard work showing up for you. Are you getting some type of public recognition? Now, Ceres is going backwards. Well, Ceres is already retrograde, the asteroid, but it's going into Taurus, but from the back end. So it's coming into like 29 degrees Taurus. This is your sector of secret, sacrifice, solitude. So this is the area you're going to be nurturing. You're going to be nurturing money and resources and trying to rebuild them behind the scenes where everybody doesn't know about it. You're making silent moves. You're making sacrifices. You're working on things, okay, which is wonderful. Just make sure you continue to handle things with diplomacy everything will be fine there will be new jobs coming in available for you to garner because in fact on Tuesday the Sun is moving into Capricorn as well and that zero degree mark you know is a good angle for using your intuition and also finding other jobs and resources for money and things like that so you could find yourself working two two or three jobs you know doing multiple things now the moon in Cancer at 26 degrees is going to oppose Venus um, in Capricorn at 26 degrees. So family obligations could conflict with, you know, other obligations, you know, other things you want to do. OK, and this is your area of shared finances opposing opposing your area of personal finances and resources. So maybe you're even disagreeing with someone over money or how money should be spent and things like that you know things you're passionate about and it can get heated but you don't want to get into any conflicts if you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees of cancer or capricorn this is definitely aspecting you okay make sure you handle things with diplomacy um i want to go over well i'm shuffling your cards i want to go over um that can't that Capricorn, the sun in Capricorn, because it's going to be there for quite some time, okay? And with it there for several weeks, it's going to be illuminating your area of uh, shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, sex and intimacy. Because it's highlighting that area, you're going to have opportunities through your areas of Pisces and Scorpio for career 
to work, to be of service to others, to garner money, share finances through your daily routines by doing things you're passionate about because Pisces and Scorpio are your areas of opportunities and assistance. If you have placements between uh, zero and three degrees of these signs or any of the signs that I name uh, as it pertains to this transit, you're going to feel this off rip on Tuesday because you know that later on in the day, that's where the sun actually moves into uh, Capricorn at zero degree on Tuesday. And you'll be feeling this, like I said, throughout. Okay, so your assistance and opportunities, as I was saying, are in career and for you to work. You could also garner resources for health. You could also work on things you're passionate about and bring in share finances. With a, uh, In addition to that, you also have blessings coming in for the next several weeks because of where the sun is you know, is illuminating this area of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and things you're passionate about. And which means you'll be making money behind the scenes. You're going to be making moves behind the scenes, garnering shared finances for home and family, sweetening the intimacy with someone in home and family, working on things you're passionate about in your solitude, uh, making those sacrifices so you can bring those blessings into home and family. You're also going to have, um, it squares your areas of Aries and Libra, but I, I really don't see anything uh, going bad in that area of Aries simply because healing is there and the sun is there. So, you know, you got two good, benefic, uh, I want to say planets, but Chiron is not a planet, it's an asteroid, but uh, two benefic celestial bodies. So it's going to bring out a positive outcome and share finances. Your friends and your social groups will be assisting you. You'll be accomplishing goals. Even if you have a friend that you like, um, you know, you could be healing a relationship with them and moving it up out of the friend zone, if you know what I mean. Um, in addition to that, the other area it squares is romance, creative endeavors, and children. So you're going to have to put in the work there, but you can garner shared finances. Um, but you may have to pay some money out. Okay, I will say that. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Your area of Libra with your romantic partner, your children, and your creative endeavors, you could very likely have to pay out some money. Okay, so just, you know, just be mindful of that because you're, you're going to spend some money. Don't get grumpy about it. Um, so for the next several weeks, you can expect those things to be coming in. If you have placements between zero and three degrees, it's coming sooner than later. Now, Moving along to Wednesday, what is up with these cards? I want to give me anything. You're going to get some type of clarity. Uh, first of all, you have people offering you new opportunities and offering you um, even new relationships. You could even, some of you could even have someone come in that's very charming, you know, and it's, you, you have clarity as to this situation, how to invest in this situation or where to invest, whether it's a new relationship, a new opportunity, or, you know, whatever the case may be with this Nine of Cups, if somebody's coming in, you know, compassionately and things like that. But beware that it could be a fling, you know, because the Nine of Cups can be a fling. But you're looking at what to invest here, okay? Um, and it looks like you have clarity with that, okay, as to what to do. Now, on Wednesday, um, the moon in Leo at... 10 degrees is going to oppose Saturn and Aquarius. So a restriction or responsibility surfaces. Don't let your friends get you into trouble. You know, if you or, or, or have you overindulging, if you have things that you need to do, you need to go ahead and take care of those things that you need to take care of. Uh, because your, your your responsibilities are first and foremost, okay? Don't feel bad about telling them you can't do it if you can't do it. If you have placements between 7 and 13 degrees of Aquarius or Leo, you can be expecting this to come in for you. And what this has to do with is your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people. It's opposing long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach. So somebody, you know, could want to do something that's further away from you and you can't because you have to take care of other things. It could be a sibling. It could be someone in your networks of people. It could be a neighbor. It could be travel that's getting in the way, you know, uh, a restriction or responsibility where you have to travel back and forth. So you can't really get things. You can't really, you can't please everybody. Okay, Gemini, you just can't. You Nobody can. So it is what it is. Now, um, 
later on, like two hours later, the moon in Leo at 11 degrees is going to square Venus and Taurus. So your sector of communication, siblings, short distance travel, and your networks of people, some shocking thing is going to pop up behind the scenes and hamper your worth. Okay, this could be a sibling calling you because they got put in jail. It could be someone in your networks of people, one of your friends need help because they got locked up or they got pulled over, got a ticket. Maybe their car got impounded. It could also be, um, you know, maybe even they, who knows, locked themselves out of their car or something like that. And they need you to pay for the locksmith. You know, it could be something that pops up that has to do with secret sacrifice solitude. So you're going to have to put the effort in, make a sacrifice to probably get somebody out of a pickle, you know, or you're going to have, might have to come out of some type of money um, or, but there, or, or, or it could, you could find out a sibling or someone in your networks of people is gossiping about you or talking about you and it shocks you what they said because it kind of puts a dent in your ego. Okay. If you have placements between, I'd say, eight and 14 degrees of Leo or Taurus, you could be expecting something like this to be coming in for you. Now, you're waiting to move forward with something, but it's it's going to take for you to delegate or it's going to take for you to really strategize either with a love relationship or within a business relationship. Good communication is going to come your way as to how you should proceed, you know, um, it, and it's advising you to take the risk. But, you know, this is what you're looking for and you're waiting for. And it's likely to come in Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. OK, let me see if they want to tell me anything else before we go over to the Oracle cards. OK, um, OK, we got that strategy card came out again. OK, so you want to stay in this hangman position until you research and really figure out what it is you want to do, because it's going to take strategy. Whatever you're you're doing is going to to take strategy because there might be people challenging you or uh, conflicting with what you want. OK, and causing some uh, tensions. Remember, operate with diplomacy. Stay out of arguments and fights. It's only going to mess things up. Okay, now let's get into your uh, cards for it, um, what you're going to be dealing with for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Angels, ancestors, spirit, guides, divine, show me clearly what I need to see for the sign of Gemini. Messages of truth and clarity that will help Gemini on their path to their highest vibrational good. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, so you got <clears throat> the king of summer, a romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. Wonderful. So you could really be getting involved in something new, a new endeavor. Um, somebody could give you some good sound advice. And you. it looks like you can trust your romantic partner. You also got the two of spring, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. So it looks like you're really being creative. And that is how you get yourself out of this pickle you're in through your creativity. Let your light shine. OK, that's important. Um, it says partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress is being made. I love to see this. This is you moving forward. Protect the fruits of your labor. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental conservation. Please make sure that you um, definitely have insurance on your on your house, on your car. You know, be mindful of that because of weather changes. You know, it's the winter time here. Um, but also make sure that you have insurance like life insurance and things like that also if you're signing contracts make sure you read the fine print if you're putting anything out creatively make sure you have your copyright it only costs 35 dollars to garner a copyright on uh copyright.com you know us.gov and you can do that yourself it's very easy okay to register a copyright so make sure you do that before you go showing people your work all right, so let's talk about the most likely outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for Gemini. The most likely outcomes. Okay, we got one. Okay, I want two more cards. I want them to give me two more cards of the most likely outcome for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday astrology. Um, get those Sunday in there as well, even though by the time you listen to this, it'll already be. Okay, that's our second one. And we need one more. And then I'll read your most likely. There we go. All right. You got the 10 of winter, which says the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off of your shoulders, the end of an addiction, 
or codependency. So if you are codependent on someone, it's going to be the end of that. If you are going through some type of addiction, you're going to start seeing relief from that. And it's going to be a weight lifted off your shoulders. And I'm assuming if it's an addiction, it's lifting, uh, it's helping finances as well. Um, having that lifted. Positive changes are on their way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. So you can see yourself traveling this week and positive changes are coming in because of that. Um, this could bring you welcome relief from troubled times or even, um, yeah, yeah, this could, could bring you welcome relief from troubled times. This is awesome. And the next card for your most likely outcome is opposing goals arising from different opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. There are a lot of people that want to achieve around you. There's probably a lot of competition around you and not everybody's going to agree with you, but it is what it is. Right now in your sector of what you think and preach, Jupiter is there. Um, you've got assistance from the healing from your friends and social groups because of Chiron. So, I mean, quite frankly, people can feel how they want to feel. Um, you know, you don't want to be undercutting anybody or anything like that or undermining anyone. But at the same time, you want to hold fast to your beliefs as well. Just don't be uh, inflexible. Don't be undiplomatic. Don't be uh, confrontational. Okay. But just beware that you're going to be dealing with a lot of overly ambitious people <laughs> this week. God bless you. I hope these helped. I hope you guys like the new cards. And I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. E. Ray Taronic here. Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I want to thank you for being here with me today. Lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Don't forget, Mental Chatter Musings is celebrating Legio Hunt this month. Our book of the month is Perfectly Fine Christmas. There have been plenty of reviews rolling in, but we would love to see yours. So don't hesitate to buy Perfectly Fine Christmas as a stocking stuffer, and even leave a review for Perfectly Fine Christmas because we would love to hear what you think. And Legil would appreciate the support most definitely. So definitely check out Legil Hunt and Perfectly Fine Christmas for the month of December. In addition to that, check out on Tuesday since we're covering Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't forget to jump on over on Clubhouse and check out uh, Diverse Shelves. Oh yes, Diverse Shelves definitely at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, especially if you're a reader. It's where you could talk about um, upcoming books that you're excited about. It's an open discussion. Um, I actually really love that room. Um, so definitely check them out 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Clubhouse Diverse Shelves. If you're on YouTube or even Facebook, check out Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves very informative and entertaining reviews. And if you are a reader, you would definitely appreciate it. Last but not least, my novel, Deadliest Intuition, is my newest release. I would love for you to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do, of course. It is a psychological thriller. So if you're into psychological thrillers, I would love for you to take a look at what I have in store for you. Deadliest Intuition is available wherever books are sold. Let's get into the astrology. Hello, Aquarius. Some on rising sign people, Eray Taronic here with your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday astrology for the week of December 19th, 2021. If you're looking for Sunday, you can find that in written format on my Facebook page at author E. Ray Taronic. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. All right, so let's get into it. Now, even though I'm not going over Sunday, I am kind of <laughs> a little bit just because Chiron goes direct on Sunday. And with Chiron going direct at uh, eight degrees on Sunday, if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of, I'd say, Aries, 
Leo or Sagittarius, this is wonderful for you in communication with, with your friends, accomplishing goals with your siblings, neighbors, neighborhoods. That healing is there. So it's really, really uh helping communication especially if you got into it with people previously neighbors or even a sibling or someone in your networks of people or a friend you normally hang out with your relationships are really going to be showing up for you and there is healing there through communication okay uh, also be mindful that you can get assistance in healing your image uh, your identity and the way you look to people, especially the way you look to a romantic partner or within a creative endeavor or even a neighbor or a sibling or child. You know, your image can be healed. OK, that's very important. Now, mm, I won't talk about the friction because healing is there. You know, it's healing things behind the scenes at work. The gossip they're talking about, you know, things are being healed now. So I won't even really bring that up. Now, at the same time, Venus goes retrograde at 26 degrees Capricorn. So with it going retrograde in your sector of secret, sacrifice, solitude, and closure, old closure wounds are opening opening up, especially in, in uh, long distance travel or with people at a distance from you. Um, it's hampering your closure or your healing with your spirituality. Maybe even your morals are conflicting in the background with past lovers coming in and things like that. Communication is healing in the background, you know, but some of your other partnerships with people at a distance from you, eh, that can be a little more difficult, especially with Venus going retrograde. Okay. Now, um, yeah, old secrets could come out. Um, hopefully this is not you revealing anybody's secrets, but somebody could be revealing yours. You want to be just mindful of that. Um, especially people at work, you know, gossiping about you and everything. Uh, that cancer is aspecting healing, so things can be healed. But you can have some secrets and stuff or... Um, even working in your solitude, you're going to have to work harder in your solitude, um, you know, to garner money and things like that. But things that you worked on in the past that you were waiting for money to come in for, they could come in now. OK, with the planet retrograde, even though old bills can pop up, old money that's old to you can come in as well. OK, so be mindful of that for the next several weeks. Now, this uh, on Monday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 28 degrees. OK, and this is an angle of, you know, uh, I'd say this is this is an opportunity to garner something that you thought you might have lost. Now, even though you might be dealing with somebody who's immature or you might be dealing with uh, a situation that needs to be stabilized, you could have that opportunity to stabilize that you could you could garner what you lost you could garner lucky assistance and opportunities if you have placements between 25 and 29 degrees of i'd say sagittarius or aquarius okay so for you this is going to be friends goals and social groups as it pertains to your image as it pertains to maybe you know the way you look with friends and things like that you might be like i said dealing with somebody who's kind of an idiot or somebody who's immature i don't mean to say an idiot but there's some lucky lucky opportunity or assistance coming into you to accomplish a goal or fix what was broken okay if you have those placements now at the same time around 7 a.m on that day, on Monday, the moon in Cancer at 13 degrees is going to trine Pallas in Pisces at 13 degrees. So if you have placements in Capricorn or Pi Cancer or Pisces between 10 and 16 degrees, this is a blessing coming through your talent, you know, or, or the arts. It could increase your money, your reputation. Travel could be indicated. You could also be rebuilding your status in some way. Cancer for you is work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. And you're getting some type of blessing of money or resources coming in if you have those placements between 10 and 16 degrees. So as I was saying, this could rebuild your, your status. This could help you. You know, this could be a boost to your worth, you know. Um, so be looking out for that if you have those placements. Now... On Tuesday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 29 degrees. Your intellect and hard work helps you push through something, okay? Just make sure you're utilizing your intuition, 
okay, to help push through that. Because at the same time on Sunday, while the sun is at 29 degrees, it's going to move into Capricorn at zero degrees later on. And that's a way of using your intuition. That's an angle of... um uh, gathering resources and finding clever ways to gather resources, finding clever ways to find new jobs and work on new projects. But you have to make sure you're handling everything with diplomacy, though, because that's what's going to help you grow. If you're not handling it with diplomacy and you're getting into conflicts and things like that, that's going to close doors for you. OK, so you want to be mindful of that. Now, with the sun moving into Capricorn at zero degree. Um, you know, after that 29 degree, because it's going to move there later on in the day. This is talking about uh, secret, sacrifice, solitude, closure. Okay. And with the sun there, it's lighting up things there. Now, Venus is already retrograde there. Now you got the sun coming in, lighting those secrets up, lighting sacrifice and solitude, what you're doing in your solitude. You need to be very careful because it's squaring long distance travel. It's squaring education and skills. It's squaring your morals your spirituality. So if you're doing something wrong, things can come to the light with Venus being retrograde there and the sun shining on things, making it a focus. Be very mindful of that, please. Now, the other, and this is going to be for the next several weeks that you're going to be dealing with this, okay, with, with the sun and Capricorn. And, and Venus is retrograde until the end of January. So, you know, you're going to be dealing with that throughout January. Now, Aries is the other area that squares that area of secret sacrifice and solitude. But like I said, um, Chiron is there. So that's the sun squaring healing. Okay. So the sun brings in goodness anyway, and Chiron is good. So, you know, things can be healed. You just gotta, you just gotta keep plotting forward and, um, communicate, but be the magician, be the author of your circumstances okay now in addition to that there are going to be blessings coming to you as well with the sun there because the sun is going to be there that's going to bring you blessings to home and family because it's it's trining your areas of taurus and virgo so people with placements between zero and three degrees they're going to feel this off rip in in, in whatever sector where they have placements between zero and three degrees OK, whether it's Aries, whether it's Libra, whether it's uh, like I was just saying, the blessings for Taurus and Virgo, your areas of Taurus and Virgo, bringing in shared finances to, to bless home and family. You working behind the scenes on things you're passionate about, creating the new end, the endings and new beginnings you want for home and family. OK, um, sex and intimacy getting better. You know, that's going to help all of those things. In addition to that, you have assistance in your areas of Pisces and, and Scorpio. OK, so you're going to be making money and career. You're also going to be garnering resources through career. You're also going to be able to get new jobs or new, like I said, new ways to make money with that with the sun and Capricorn right at that zero degree mark. That's an angle for uh, multitasking, working different jobs and things like that. Okay. But you got to make sure you're handling things with diplomacy. That's very important. So as to this Venus being retrograde in Capricorn and the sun being direct in Capricorn, well, the sun never goes retrograde anyway, but still this is going to, for the next several weeks, you know, be a focus and your areas of assistance are going to be Scorpio and Pisces are going to be career and you making money. OK, so you need to make sure that you're on the ball with that. Now, you got some cards that flew out here for even though we're still talking about Tuesday, we're still talking about Tuesday, but you have some cards that flew out here that says, OK, there's going to be some type of new celebrations or friends coming back into the picture that were from the past with offers um this could be lovers coming back from the past too you know somebody who's very charming maybe somebody who um yeah somebody who's very charming it could be a a fling so be mindful of that because you know eventually the planet's the planet venus is going to go direct but that's aspecting some type of reunions or celebrations with someone from the past uh, coming in to offer you something. You also are being prompted to 
move forward. I know it's you're going through some hard work, stress and burden, but you're being prompted to move through that by communicating. You're being prompted to move through that by not only communicating, but by mass uh, manifesting. Okay. You are the manifester. Thoughts become things. Okay. What you think can happen. Okay. Your the mind is a very strong tool. Okay. And that's something you're going to be dealing with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now the moon. Oh, did I talk about retrograde? Okay. In addition to that, Ceres is going to go, Ceres is already retrograde. And with it being retrograde, it's going to enter Taurus at 29 degrees. So the people with placements between, you know, 26 and 29 degree, 26 and 29 degrees of Taurus, or even still over into Gemini at zero degree, you still might feel this. You still might feel this series nurturing okay series is nurturing this is where series is nurturing your area of home and family and the planet is coming back to say hey what have you missed here what do you need to go back through and focus on to nurture home and family okay handle things with diplomacy remember but you could be nurturing uh, home and family you could be nurturing your resources within home and family or the money within home and family okay it's very very important the moon at 26 degrees cancer is going to oppose Venus and Capricorn at 26 degrees. So obligations to home and family can conflict with career. The things you have to do in the background and work in your solitude, um, you could find yourself having to do a lot of that, you know, because cancer is work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others. And if it's opposing, you know, secret sacrifice and solitude, you may have to put in a lot of work in the background to be making the money that you want to make. All right. Now, uh, let's see if they want to give me any more messages. So if you have placements in cancer or Capricorn between 23 and 29 degrees, this is aspecting you. I know you're waiting for your justice to come in. You know, the sun is showing and there is some type of justice aspecting you this week, but you need to make sure that you're being patient because you got the patient, you got the temperance card, you know, and they talk that that's usually Sagittarius. So you need to uh, have patience. It could be with accomplishing a goal. It could have to do with a friend as well. But the ace of cups upside down is talking about repressed, repressed or blocked emotions. There might be anxiety um, around not having enough time to spend with your loved ones because you're working. Um, you And that could lead to stagnation and emptiness. You know, it could also have you feeling a little bit confused because your ace of wands is, is backwards as well, is upside down. So that points to some sort of confusion or lack of clarity, maybe delayed plans. If you're dwelling too much on what's not working, you got to work on finding a new way to get out of things, to move forward, to get unstuck. Okay. Um, I know you might be confused about some big making some big decisions, but you got to be patient with yourself. OK, that's going to be important. Now, let's talk about Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, the sun is still in Capricorn in the daytime at zero degrees. So, you know, you still got that working extra jobs deal going on. But the only thing is also the moon in Leo at 10 degrees is going to oppose Saturn and Aquarius. This is some type of restriction or responsibility popping up on you through a partnership. OK, um, don't let your friends get you into trouble. Don't let them get you into a state of overindulging and things like that, because at the same time, once the moon gets to 11 degrees, it's going to square Uranus and Taurus. So in a relationship, something's going to pop up, an argument, a fight, something with somebody in home and family because it's squaring one another. It could be a Leo, some moon, a rising sign person. It could be a Taurus, some moon, a rising sign person. Or it could just be some type of conflict in home and family or somewhere where you have to put some extra energy in or, or there's some tension there and it and it comes out of nowhere. It's a shock. Okay. Maybe it's a challenge to your worth. Maybe it's a challenge to your resources. Okay. That's surfacing. But it's something going on there, um, you know, on Wednesday. If you have placements between, I'd say for both of those, well, for this transit, for the shock that's coming up, you know, through you and home and family, or you arguing with somebody, one of your relationships or something like that, or maybe it's a relationship um, in a home-based business or something where you your worth is diminished in some way. If you have placements between eight and 14 degrees of Leo or Taurus, that's aspecting you. 
Now, the last transit where you had that restriction or responsibility popping up and you have to let your friends know, you know, if you can't hang out with them, you can't hang out with them. If you're too busy, let them know. Don't argue. Just be assertive. If you have placements in Aquarius or Leo between three and no, between seven and 13 degrees, that's aspecting you. OK, uh, just make sure that on Tuesday, you know, with those family conflicts and stuff, make sure you seek out a mentor if need be. OK, if you're in some conflicts, if you need a mediator, don't be afraid to ask for some type of help. All right. On Tuesday, I just wanted to go back and say that. Now, let's ask for your messages. OK, I want to get three cards as to what you're going to be dealing with for these next three days for uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. OK, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And one more. Uh oh, there we go. All right. They gave me four. All right. So you got the six of winter. Positive changes are on their way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. You also got the prince, uh, princess of summer. A new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events so you could get invited out, a compassionate friend you can share concerns with. So maybe you have somebody you can talk to. Um, you know, remember I was talking about that mentor as well. Maybe you could find somebody to talk to. But um, like I said, positive changes are on the way, though, and, and, and relief will come in. Powerful intuitive epiphanies. OK, letting go of worry and fear under this moon. You need to let go of worry and fear. Pray for it. In fact, OK, understand the truth of a situation and don't lie to yourself when things are illuminated to you. OK, be truthful with yourself. You also have open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities and spiritual epiphanies. Wonderful. So if you pray and meditate, you can get those messages. You can get those epiphanies and things like that. Let's ask for your most likely outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Okay? Most likely outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Messages that will help you on your path to your highest vibrational good for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign people. Most likely outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. I'll need one more card. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is your most likely outcomes for this week. You got the strength card, okay, uh, which is Leo. That's your area of relationships. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Remember kindness and forgiveness in your relationships. It's time to embrace how wonderful you are. You cannot forgive other people if you can't forgive yourself, okay? That's very important. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal in time. So if you're sad about a situation or a relationship, it will heal in time. You will heal in time. You know, um, the moon changes phases every two and a half days. So something else is on your mind every couple of days for all of us. You know, there's a focus on something else. So, you know, energies move on. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. So those are your messages for those are, you know, the last few messages I gave you were your messages for your likely outcomes. But for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I hope this helped. God bless you guys. And I'll see you on Thursday. Bye now. E. Ray Tyronic here. Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I want to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Don't forget... Mental Chatter Musings is celebrating Legio Hunt this month. Our book of the month is Perfectly Fine Christmas. There have been plenty of reviews rolling in, but we would love to see yours. So don't hesitate to buy Perfectly Fine Christmas as a stocking stuffer and even leave a review for Perfectly Fine Christmas because we would love to hear what you think. And Legio would appreciate the support most definitely. So definitely check out Legio Hunt and Perfectly Fine Christmas for the month of December. In addition to that, check out on Tuesday since we're covering Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't forget to jump on over on Clubhouse 
and check out uh, diverse shelves. Oh, yes. Diverse shelves. Definitely at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, especially if you're a reader. It's where you could talk about um, upcoming books that you're excited about. It's an open discussion. Um, I actually really love that room. Um, so definitely check them out. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Clubhouse Diverse Shelves. If you're on YouTube or even Facebook, check out Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves very informative and entertaining reviews. And if you are a reader, you would definitely appreciate it. Last but not least, my novel, Deadliest Intuition, is my newest release. I would love for you to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do, of course. It is a psychological thriller. So if you're into psychological thrillers, I would love for you to take a look at what I have in store for you. Deadliest Intuition is available wherever books are sold. Let's get into the astrology. Hello, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for the week of December 19th, 2021. Now, this is going to be in particular Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday as well. Although you can find Sunday in written format on my Facebook page at Author E. Ray Taronic, there's a couple transits that I want to talk to you guys about. So, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. Now, on Sunday, first of all, Chiron is going direct in your sector of secret, sacrifice, solitude, closure. So, where you can receive benefits from where you've sacrificed, where you can receive beneficial secrets, where you can have closure coming in, where you can have healing coming in, even healing to or through your spirituality. You will also have um, mm, things that you've made sacrifices for. Um, they will be healing uh, your areas of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about. It will be healing home and family with blessings as well of you garnering shared finances, of sex and intimacy being better, of passion being better. You'll have opportunities and assistance coming forward that are going to heal you behind the scenes in career, money coming in, resources coming in uh, through career or whatever it is you master. Um, those areas are going to be healed. You're going to have closure coming in and healing coming in through money and resources coming to you. In addition to that, your areas of Cancer and Capricorn are aspected with friction normally. So that's normally friction with what you think and preach, education and skills. This is an area where you have to normally work really hard. But because healing is there, it's healing things that you've said. It's healing your education. It's healing um, you know, your philosophy, your morals, your spirituality. You're healing through those things. Um, you're also healing communication with siblings, neighbors, neighborhoods. Some of you are moving. Um, you know, healing uh, relationships with your networks of people. You It directly aspects Scorpio. Your relationships with Scorpio are healing, okay? Now, in addition to that, and that's going to be for quite some time, especially if you have placements between, um, let me see, it's going direct at eight degrees. So if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of any of those signs, you're going to feel this initially. You're going to feel this healing. As a matter of fact, in any sign, you're going to feel that healing if you have them between eight and, uh, you know, uh, 11 degree, five and 11 degrees. So all you have to do is look at your chart and see what you have between five and 11 degrees. And that's going to be aspecting healing. Okay. Now, in addition to that, Venus is going retrograde. We already know Venus is in your area of long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach. We've been talking about that, but now that it's going retrograde, things that you've said in the past will come to the fore. OK, maybe even old gossip can resurface. But remember, Chiron is an Aries healing things. OK, now uh, you'll have uh, partners coming in from the past. You're going to have um, things that you worked on before, old ways of being of service to others coming up back up from the past and things like that. And you garnering money that way, you garnering money from work that's been old to you um, and things like that with the planet going retrograde now. Our old arguments and old look can pop up and old lovers can surface as well. Hanging out in your old stomping grounds, old pleasure pursuits can surface and things like that. But, you know, uh, you have to put more effort into that sex and intimacy, um, you know, but still 
Venus is still there. Even though it's retrograde, at least it's there, you know. Um, okay, so if you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees of Capricorn, um, or any signs, actually, that I named, you know, this is definitely aspecting you, you know. So, um, like Capricorn, well, any, any, any of the signs, because, you know, everything aspects everything, but it's for tw between 23 and 29 degrees. Um, you're going to feel this retrograde pull, this overview of the past as far as romance, finances, and even pleasure pursuits. Now, on Monday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 28 degrees. This is your sector of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and things that you're passionate about, okay? Now, you could be dealing with somebody in that area that is a little uh, immature. Maybe there's some instability or, or um, yeah, shakeups with finances, shared finances, sex and intimacy, things that you're passionate about and things like that. But there is some type of lucky opportunities and assistance coming your way through your area of Aquarius, through your career or whatever it is you master. You're being given an opportunity to, opportunity to either garner some shared finances, maybe you're getting help with shared finances and they're coming your way, especially if you have placements between that 25 and 29 degrees of Aquarius or Sagittarius. This could be an opportunity coming in or some assistance that you thought you may have lost or that you thought you weren't going to get that comes in. Now, on also on Monday, the moon in Cancer at 13 degrees is going to trine Pallas and Pisces. So this is, if you have placements between 10 and 16 degrees of Cancer or Pisces, this is a blessing coming through the arts or your talents. And this can increase money and reputation. Travel can be indicated here. You could rebuild your status. Okay. Um, you could be... Uh, yeah, yeah, you can you can really rebuild your status here. A blessing could come in through your friends or through social groups. This could even be a goal accomplished through a uh, communication, through a sibling, through someone in your networks of people, a neighbor. You know, somebody could really be shining a blessing on you by helping you accomplish a goal of rebuilding your status. Okay. Now, um, on let's see, let's move along to Tuesday. On Tuesday, the sun is going to start off at 29 degrees, okay? And this is where your intellect and hard work can pay off and um, helps you to push through, okay? Um, but you have to make sure you're utilizing your intuition. If you have placements between 26 and 29 degrees of Sagittarius, Leo or Aries, this bodes well for you, or even Libra or Aquarius, because those are the areas of opportunities and assistance, uh, Libra and Aquarius. So this could definitely bode well for you here where your hard work pays off and brings in some shared finances, um, maybe even a blessing of intimacy, an ending or a new beginning that you wanted to see. Um, you're being called for to this week. You want to watch out for your... Okay, Taurus, if you're thinking about walking away from a situation where you have eight cups full, where you already have a base established, you're going to need to gain some type of emotional balance before you make decisions. Okay, you might be lost and distant in your thoughts, but you need to make sure that you're utilizing some type of emotional balance to uh, make decisions and have patience. Okay, uh, yeah, you're, you're being called on to have patience, okay? Don't leave a situation. You might not want to just be hasty and leave a situation where you have eight cups full, okay? Because, the, 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 yeah, they're asking for you to, to have patience, okay? Now, um, let's see here. Ceres is the asteroid is moving back into your sign. So it's nurturing you, your image, your first impressions and things like that. Okay, so that's coming in for you. Now, mm, what is going on here? You got the Wheel of Fortune, which is good, but it's upside down. That's the only thing. And you want to get it upright because that's when you really get the benefit from it. When it's upside down, it indicates some type of uh, downturn and luck due to, next to negative external forces. Um, you know, it's out of your control. Unfortunately, you could have little influence over the events. Um but the situation won't prevail. Just stick it in there through your test of faith and things will be, you know, things will be okay. 
okay with series moving into your sign if you have placements between 26 and 29 degrees of taurus this is asking you to nurture yourself your image and your first impressions right off there is also some type of uh toxic partnership or relationship that could be aspecting you it could be an obsession um or it could be a toxic partnership um let me ask for more clarification as to this okay we got the heartbreak card the communication and celebrations okay so it could be something you're obsessed with it could be some type of toxicity or um person who like doesn't have everybody's best interest at heart in the partnership and it's causing you some type of heart hurt sorrow or heartbreak um especially within partnerships of three or more people okay um you're the magician okay if you want to create a rebirth you have to put the effort in to do that and not think negatively okay you don't want to have the wheel spinning in a negative direction and it's already upside down so you want to get it you know turned up right even though this you know some of the circumstances you can't do anything about but if you stay positive as much as possible that definitely will help now the moon at 26 degrees cancer will oppose venus at 26 degrees so if you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees of cancer or capricorn this is aspecting you okay where your area of communication siblings short distance travel your networks of people is directly opposing long distance travel education and skills what you think and preach so you could have opposing views about travel you could have opposing views with someone at a distance from you you could have issues you know as a, as it pertains to what you want to spend money on you know where you want to travel to with a partner it could be any of those things especially if you have placements between that 23 and 29 degrees of cancer or capricorn okay now obligations with home and family could conflict maybe you need to speak to someone with more experience maybe even a mentor that can help sort things out diplomatically um it's going to be very important for you to sort things out dipl diplomatically as opposed to conflicts and arguing and things like that because that will get you nowhere. It won't help you to nurture or build any resources at all. Okay, but it looks like you do have some type of fulfillment coming in through equal give and take if you are being... If you are being vested in your own interest, you have some equal give and take coming in, either that or it looks like it's some money coming in. It could be money coming in too, unexpected gifts and rewards um, or um, yeah, some type of uh, money or income could be coming in that is a wish fulfillment where you have been vested in your own interest. That is awesome. That is wonderful to see. Okay. And that could see you making clear decisions, strategizing and driving things forward as far as your investments or what you are invested in. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, uh, later on in the day, the sun is going to move into zero degrees Capricorn that's a more of a degree where you might be taking on extra jobs where you might be working finding even things other other ways to make money to garner finances and to work on but make sure you utilize your intuition to see what's best for you um also with the sun being in capricorn it is going to trine certain areas it's going to sextile certain areas it's going to uh square certain areas but i want to talk to you about that because for the next several weeks that area of capricorn long distance travel education and skills what you think and preach are going to be shining are going to be a highlight what you say your morals everything the sun is going to be shining on that so it's going to be visible to everyone so you want to be mindful because people behind the scenes could be gossiping about you people at work could be gossiping about you they could be discussing your daily routines. They could be discussing your health. You could have issues or complications uh, with health as well. So you want to be mindful of that. You have healing behind the scenes, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. But at work, you could really get into it with people about them disagreeing with you and your philosophy or your morals or spirituality. So you would just want to be mindful of that and don't be getting into arguments with people about theirs. All right. Now in addition to that blessings are going to come in directly to you as far as your uh, romance your creative endeavors your children you can travel with children travel with your romantic partner and you know 
um, that's going to be a highlight. Um, in addition to that, your assistance and opportunities for the next several weeks are going to be to expand your reach through what you think and preach. Your area of Pisces and Scorpio, your partnerships with friends and, and social groups, they're going to allow you to expand your reach. They're going to allow you to come in and speak your truth, your your what you think, your philosophy. Okay, so even though there's going to be some people behind the scenes at work giving you havoc, there are going to be others who are going to want to hear what you have to say. OK, and that's going to be for the next several weeks. Now, on Wednesday, the sun in Capricorn or the moon in Leo, that's what I want to talk about on Wednesday. The moon in Leo is going to oppose Saturn and Aquarius at 10 degrees. So if you have any placements between 7 and 13 degrees of Leo or Aquarius, you can expect home and family to be opposing career. Something is popping up there. You have a restriction or responsibility that you have to take care of in career and home and family wants to do something else. Okay. If if you can't do it, you can't do it. If you can't make it, you can't make it. If you don't have time to overindulge, you don't. Be assertive and let them know what needs to be done because you have to take care of your responsibilities first, okay? Two hours later, the uh, your area of home and family, Leo, is going to square you directly. So boom, there could be an argument at home and family. There could be uh, something shocking that pops up that happens in home and family that makes you look bad, you know, um, you know, makes your image look bad. It just, e you want to be mindful of what you say. You want to be mindful of what you're doing as well. Okay. That's going to be very, very important, especially if you have placements between eight and 14 degrees of Leo or Taurus, because this is challenging your worth and your resources in some way. Okay. Because of your image and the way you look, give me some cards as to what Taurus will be dealing with for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What will Taurus be dealing with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Give me the most clear and concise messages that will help Taurus on their path to their highest vibrational good. Okay, we got two here. I need one more as to what you'll be dealing with for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we can read these and then we'll get, okay, there we go. The first card is immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. Ooh, I like that. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way. A good person or a good company to work for. Oh, I like that. And your next card that you're dealing with this week is from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. I like that. All right, now let's ask about your most likely outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What are the most likely outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? What are the most likely outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign people? Give me messages of clarity and truth that will help them on their path to their highest vibrational good. All right, you got three cards now. I want to read the first one off that I'm excited about first. Time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. This is the Empress card. This is wonderful. I love the Empress card. Uh, do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeship. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. Okay, so some things that you need to work on will require seminars or going back to school, workshops or apprenticeship. Okay, YouTube can be very useful for that as well. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. Make sure you, you maintain a good balance between work and home life. But there's a lot of people that want to help you and assist you. So please don't hesitate to garner that help. Okay, which you will because those are your um, outcomes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. God bless you. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye now. E. Ray Taronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I want to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Don't forget... Mental Chatter Musings is celebrating Legio Hunt this month. Our book of the month is Perfectly Fine Christmas. 
there have been plenty of reviews rolling in, but we would love to see yours. So don't hesitate to buy Perfectly Fine Christmas as a stocking stuffer and even leave a review for Perfectly Fine Christmas because we would love to hear what you think. And Lajeel would appreciate the support most definitely. So definitely check out Lajeel Hunt and Perfectly Fine Christmas for the month of December. In addition to that, check out on Tuesday, since we're covering Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, don't forget to jump on over on Clubhouse and check out uh, diverse shelves. Oh yes, diverse shelves definitely at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, especially if you're a reader. It's where you could talk about um, upcoming books that you're excited about. It's an open discussion. Um, I actually really love that room. Um, so definitely check them out 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Clubhouse Diverse Shelves. If you're on YouTube or even Facebook, check out Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves very informative and entertaining reviews. And if you are a reader, you would definitely appreciate it. Last but not least, my novel, Deadliest Intuition, is my newest release. I would love for you to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do, of course. It is a psychological thriller. So if you're into psychological thrillers, I would love for you to take a look at what I have in store for you. Deadliest Intuition is available wherever books are sold. Let's get into the astrology. Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for the week of December the 19th. Typically, um, in particular, I'm sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you're looking for Sunday, you can find that in written format on my Facebook page at author E. Ray Taronic. Now, I do want to talk about actually two transits that's going on on Sunday because that's important. So let's get into it. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that you appreciate the content that I'm putting out. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is on Sunday, Chiron going direct. Chiron goes direct in your area of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and things that you're passionate about. So all of those areas are being healed. Blessings are coming into those areas of healing through secret sacrifice solitude. So behind the scenes, things you've worked on in your solitude that people don't necessarily know about. Closure coming into you for sex and intimacy. Closure coming in for endings and new beginnings. Closure coming in for as, as it pertains to things you're passionate about. Closure coming in with uh, shared finances for home and family, you know? You have those blessings coming in because of that healing in Aries. If you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees of Aries, Leo, or Sag. In fact, if you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees of any of these signs, this healing is aspecting you. As far as the assistance and opportunities that's coming to you to help heal shared finances, sex and intimacy, endings and new beginnings, and things you're passionate about, you can look to Gemini and Aquarius, career, whatever you master. You're healing these things through career. You're bringing shared finances in through career. You're bringing shared finances in through work, health, the daily routines, and where you are of service to others because people are garnering you the opportunities to do just that. You also have opportunities for uh, resources for health, you know, healing your area of health. You can also heal yourself, uh, you know, be healed through your daily routines. You, you can find a way to garner money and finances, share finances through your daily routines and garner money that way. Now, because you generally have, I'd say, uh, you know, squares to your area of share finances, as it pertains to friends, goals, and social groups, things you're passionate about, clashing with friends and social groups, um, you know, you having bills popping up, you know, for a romantic partners, for children, for creative endeavors, you having to exhaust, you know, share finances and things like that. Um, and clashing with things you're passionate about, but now healing is there. So it's also bringing healing to your area of cancer and Capricorn healing, you know, your shared finances between you and a romantic partner you and a person you collaborate with during creative endeavors or people, uh, things that you're passionate about. 
you know, is getting that healing as well. If you have placements between those five and 11 degrees of Cancer or Capricorn. Now, let's talk about the other transit I wanted to talk about, which was Venus going retrograde. It's already, Venus is already in Capricorn. So you already know what to expect there because we've been talking about that. But now it's going retrograde at 26 degrees, which means it's more so focusing right now on people between 23 and 29 degrees. And this is where lovers can pop up from the past. This is where money uh, issues can crop up from the past, money arguments, but also money that's owed to you from the past can come in. Okay, uh, this is your area of romance, creative endeavors and children. So you'll be hanging out at old hangouts with children that you used to hang out, you know, at that things, the old pleasure pursuits, things you like, to, you used to like to do, you know, like, oh, I used to love to go skating. I'm gonna take the kids skating, different things like that. You know, us old heads love skating. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, romance, creative endeavors and children is an area where you know the love could also go retrograde so you're gonna have to work extra hard with your partner you know because you might get into arguments or fights over money what to do with money how to spend money you know dis disagreements like that can pop up you know um you could have um issues with money resources you know from the past um, as far as what you bring in, not shared finances, but what you bring in, it's squaring the shared finances too. But I wouldn't really worry about that because Aries is uh, Chiron is in Aries for healing. But your regular money that you make through partnerships, you could be making money through partnerships from the past as well. Okay, so that could be happening for you. Now, let's see. Um, I mean, I think this Jupiter retrograde will be good for your image, your identity. I mean, this uh, Venus retrograde, because it's in a sector that trines your sign. So either way, it's going to bring you blessings, you know, from the past. Now, just check to see if you have any placements between 26 and 29 degrees, because you'll feel it off rip, you know, you'll feel it uh, on Sunday. Even communication from the past, from neighbors, you know, old friends you used to hang out with, neighborhoods, maybe siblings and things, you know, offering you, coming back with offers from the past, your partnerships, old partnerships coming in and showing up for you. Okay, that's aspecting you. So let's go to Monday. Now, on Monday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 28 degrees. Now, this is a day that you could be dealing with somebody who might be a little immature in home and family. There could be some type of shakeups in home and family, some type of instability. But luckily, Jupiter will be sextiling the sun in Sagittarius. So there's some type of lucky or opportunity or assistance surfacing for you maybe to work to be of service to someone maybe it's a lucky health resource coming in for home and family um, an opportunity to work you know for home and family this could be an opportunity that you thought you lost before but now is aspecting and coming in especially if you have placements in Sagittarius or Aquarius between 25 and 29 degrees you're gonna you're gonna want to take advantage of that now, there's also um, around 7 a.m., the moon in Cancer is going to trine Pallas and Pisces at 13 degrees. So if you have placements between 10 and 16 degrees of Cancer or Pisces, a blessing is coming into you. Uh, it could be from a friend. It could be it could have to do with a social group. It could be a goal that you're trying to accomplish. But one of your partnerships is really showing up for you. It seems like garnering you some type of blessed opportunity to increase your worth, your money, your reputation, uh, to rebuild your status. If you have those placements between 10 and 16 degrees of those signs, this is definitely aspecting you. Now, on, I'd say, oh, let me start shuffling because I want to get you some messages since I'm going off into uh, Tuesday. Now, on Tuesday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 29 degrees. Well, it starts there at first. This is where your intellect and hard work could help you push through. Okay, you just have to make sure that you're utilizing your intuition. Okay, now at the same time, at the same time, uh, there is going to be a, there's going to be movement as far as series goes. 
Ceres is retrograde already, and it's going to go into Taurus at 29 degrees. It's going to enter Taurus from the back way because it's retrograde. So that means it's coming to your area of education and skills, long distance travel, dealing with people at a distance from you, what you think and preach. This is the area you're nurturing starting on Monday. You're feeling this, that you should be on Tuesday. That you should be nurturing this area, especially if you have placements in Taurus between that, I'd say, 26 and 29 degrees. Um, you know, you, you, you want to be mindful of that, that that's an area you're going to be focusing on. Now, uh, you, you're basically trying to build your resources there, okay, by your education, what you say, your philosophy, dealing with people at a distance from you, getting into those other Social groups are dealing with other people, you know, expanding your reach. Just make sure you're handling things with diplomacy. The moon at 26 degrees Cancer is going to oppose Venus at 26 degrees Capricorn. So obligations, you know, with home and family can conflict with others. Your obligations or even with your friends and your social groups can conflict with a lover, can conflict with a child, can conflict with someone else within a friend sector. You know, you could be hanging out with friends and you guys, you know, have opposing views, get into it, maybe even about money or resources. Who's going to pay the bill? You know, it, it could be any of those things. That 10 of uh, ten of pentacles wanted to show itself too. Some money, looking like some money is aspecting you. But we'll get more messages. Check your chart to see if you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees of Cancer or Capricorn. Because you can kind of see those obligations conflicting or maybe even some issues popping up, you know, between you and someone else. Okay. If you need a mediator, ask for a mentor, someone who can help, who's more experienced. Just make sure you're not getting into conflicts and you're handling, thing, handling things diplomatically. Now, a little later in the day, uh, the sun is going to move into your sector of Capricorn, lighting up your sector of romance, creative endeavors, and children, making it a focus. Okay. Now, first of all, I do want to tell you that you're trying to move forward from something or after a period of turmoil, some in information is going to come to you, whether it's an email, a letter, a text message, or someone calling you, giving you information. It's still information where you need to kind of keep your wits about you because this could be multiple people calling you, giving you information that's bringing you some sort of wish fulfillment or geeking you up about something. But both of these people are where you need to research what they're saying because one of them is overly enthusiastic and maybe, um, yeah, gossipy. And that could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Sun, or Moon, or Rising sign person. And then you got this other person uh, that's an air sign person, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, that could be bringing you information that you need to kind of pay more attention to, okay? Especially if it's about joining in any partnerships and things like that. You want to be mindful of that. Now, that, light, that area of romance, creative endeavors, and children is lighting up. With that area lighting up, it's going to be a focus. You're going to be working hard trying to um, work through the issues or sorrow or heartbreak with uh, that you've been having behind the scenes. It could be with a Scorpio, someone, a rising sign person. Um, the death card represents Scorpio, so it could be a sibling, a neighbor, someone in your networks of people. But you're going through some type of sorrow or heartbreak or, you know, maybe you even felt like, yeah, you felt like some type of sorrow or loss that you're trying to work through uh, behind the scenes. Okay. And um, yeah, that's aspecting you that you're definitely dealing with that this week. You're also dealing with some type of celebrations. Now, with these celebrations coming in... Let's see what they want to tell us about these celebrations. While I'm waiting for more cards for the celebrations, let's talk about this cancer, uh, this area of Capricorn lighting up because the sun is here. It's going to be there for several weeks because it's got to go from zero degrees to 29 degrees. So zero degree to 29 degrees. So let's talk about what you're going to be experiencing. Oh, you got some positive, the world, the world, you got the world card. So this is positive events and outcomes within a partnership. Maybe this is with a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Some owner rising sign person, a hard worker, somebody who's very diligent, creative, and respected. 
this could be you if this is your rising sign or your moon sign but you're forging toward these celebrations passionately maybe even with this fire sign person okay and this could have been something you were worried about before but now it's coming in uh you know to fruition for you bringing you greatness now your blessings are going to be coming in directly to you because of what you think and preach because of your education and skills, because of your morals, because of your spirituality, okay? It could even be pulling in partners at a distance from you for love or even creative endeavors. You could even be traveling with your romantic partner, your child, or for a creative endeavor. If you have placements between zero and three degrees of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you're going to feel this initially on Tuesday. If not, you'll feel it as the planet uh, Venus moves through the nodes. Now, as far as your assistance and opportunities for the next several weeks, you're going to be able to hang out with romantic partners and, and your children and your friends and your siblings. People within your neighbors or neighborhoods are going to be offering you opportunities to not only hang out, but to partner with you. You might have people around your neighborhood who like you, who want to partner with you romantically. People in your networks of people want to partner with you for creative endeavors or romantically. Okay, because Pisces and Scorpio are areas of opportunities and assistance, and this will be communicated to you. Now, as far as the friction illuminated, that's going to be all about money in your area of Libra, money and resources that you're bringing in individually. Um, you could be putting more effort into trying to garner money and resources through partnerships. You also have it squaring your area of shared finances. I wouldn't really worry about that though because Chiron is there healing that area of shared finances. So that's like the sun squaring Chiron, you know, healing. So it, it it's going to illuminate where you need healing, but it's going to give you that healing because that goodness is coming there and it's healing shared finances. It's healing your endings and new beginnings that you want to bring about. It's healing your passions. It's healing sex and intimacy with a romantic partner as well. You know, you might even be hanging out with a romantic partner, going out and having fun. Your world is changing even as a patron of the arts, someone who is stable, someone who is secure, okay, someone who is wise. Okay, that is coming in. That is all aspecting you. Some information, either you're traveling or some information is coming in at a distance from you really fast this week. Okay, really fast. Um, okay, let's talk about, and that's for the next several weeks, you're going to be dealing with these, this sun and Capricorn. So let's talk about uh, Wednesday. Now on Wednesday, the sun is in... At, uh, it's still in Capricorn at zero degree. It starts there. But what I really want to talk to you about is these two uh, angles of friction on Wednesday. On Wednesday, the moon and Leo at 10 degrees will oppose Saturn and Aquarius at 10 degrees. So a restriction or responsibility could surface. If your friends want you to hang out and you can't, don't do it. Be assertive. You don't have time to overindulge. You got to stay on, on task and get things done. And that's not something typically you have to tell a Virgo. A Virgo is usually on task, you know, and they like to do things perfectly. So just watch out for this if you have placements between seven and 13 degrees of Leo or Aquarius, because this will be this will be about work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others, and some restriction that is causing you to have to work in your solitude, to have to work in the background. So if you have people trying to pull you out, hey, you got stuff you gotta do. Now, a couple hours later, there's going to be some type of challenge to your worth that's going to surface. Your area of, of uh, long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach. There's going to be a shocking uh, event that's going to happen there. Okay. It's squaring Leo. So this is squaring your area of secret sacrifice solitude. So you could have something pop up out of nowhere where you have to work in your solitude to get something done quickly that has to do with your education and skills, maybe even a test for those of you in school. This also could be something that pops up as far as like you heard somebody said something about you, you know, whether it's like a child or romantic partner or somebody you hang out with, you could hear something about they were gossiping about you or talking about you and it kind of hampers your worth or your resources or what you felt like you know, like you felt like you were cool with this person and everything was straight. And then you find out they're saying this and that about what you think and preach. 
and opposing you, what you think and preach in the background, but then they're smiling in your face. So that's definitely something you could be dealing with if you have, if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of that Leo or Taurus. Something is coming to challenge your worth or challenge what you think and preach or what you say. Now let's look at, let's get some uh, messages from the angels, angel deck from this fairy deck. Oh, wow. One popped out already as to what you're going to be dealing with for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, give me the most clear and concise messages possible for the sign of Virgo. Give me the most clear and concise messages for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign people for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What they're going to be dealing with. All right. All right. We got four messages. So I'll take the four. I usually only do three, but we'll take the four. Wishes come true. Dreams fulfilled. A magical time of life. So you're going to have some type of wish coming true. Okay. This week. Um, your next card is a desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. So you're going to be choosing to make some major life changes this week and moving on from some things and heading towards your desires. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. You need to make sure that you're loving on yourself, that you are um, recognizing your worth. Make sure that you are forgiving others because if you don't forgive others, you can't forgive yourself. If you're not kind to others, you can't expect people to be kind to you. Leo is your area of secret sacrifice, solitude, and closure. And you could, like I said, those two clashes on Wednesday, one of those clashes, you could see some type of challenges there in the background. And you might have to forgive somebody once you heard what they said about you or get over it. Review the past and the present so that you can plan a bright new future. Okay, when you review the past, it helps you to make better steps as you're moving forward because you're taking those lessons into account. Understanding your life purpose, really releasing judgments of yourself and others. So don't hang on to resentment. Don't judge others because when you judge others, then you shall be judged. Okay, that's important to remember. Now let's look at your most likely outcomes. Oh, all right, most likely outcomes for this week particularly Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign people, what are the most likely outcomes that Virgo is dealing with? Virgo, Sun, Moon, or... Ooh, okay. All right, we got our three. All right. All right. So, for your most likely outcomes, you got the three of summer. News worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births friends you cherish so some friends that you cherish could bring in news worth celebrating if it's not you know a birth a wedding graduation things like that also oh you got the same thing review the past and present so that you can plan a bright new future understanding your life purpose it's really important for you to understand your life purpose and make sure that you're following your your divine purpose know that whatever you're getting into be sure that that's what you really want to do OK, because when you're manifesting, as I always say, thoughts become things. So you want to make sure that's what you really want to do, because you don't want to put yourself in a situation and then realize this is not even my life's purpose. I don't feel like it is. I was just doing something just to garner it. Sometimes you just do things just to get it. And then when you get it, you're like, uh, do I really want this? So be mindful of that. Releasing judgments of yourself and others. OK, so release yourself from the judgment of yourself and others. Just because other people want you to do something doesn't mean you want to do it. OK, you got to follow your path and what you want to do. Being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted, discontentment with life. So you're feeling some kind of you're feeling kind of oh, it's a kid. You're feeling discontent with something and you're failing to see an opportunity, maybe even to get closer to a child. You could be taking your kid for granted. There's a child around you that wants your attention this week and uh, they're not garnering it. And they're asking for that and you're not noticing or seeing it. So please make sure that you take some time to talk to um a son or a daughter to, you know, it could be a son to see, um, you know, what's going on, you know? Uh, yeah. Cause that's, that's important. And this could be a magical opportunity, you know, 
and this child could need your assistance with something this child could just need to talk to you or anything but whatever it is you need to make sure that you're paying attention to your uh your children closely this week okay um and asking them questions having open dialect with them you know god bless you i hope this helped and i'll see you on thursday bye now E. Ray Tyronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I want to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Don't forget... Mental Chatter Musings is celebrating Legio Hunt this month. Our book of the month is Perfectly Fine Christmas. There have been plenty of reviews rolling in, but we would love to see yours. So don't hesitate to buy Perfectly Fine Christmas as a stocking stuffer and even leave a review for Perfectly Fine Christmas because we would love to hear what you think. And Legio would appreciate the support most definitely. So definitely check out Legio Hunt and Perfectly Fine Christmas for the month of December. In addition to that, check out on Tuesday, since we're covering Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't forget to jump on over on Clubhouse and check out uh, Diverse Shelves. Oh, yes, Diverse Shelves, definitely at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, especially if you're a reader. It's where you could talk about um, upcoming books that you're excited about. It's an open discussion. Um, I actually really love that room. Um, so definitely check them out, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Clubhouse Diverse Shelves. If you're on YouTube or even Facebook, check out Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. He leaves very informative and entertaining reviews. And if you are a reader, you would definitely appreciate it. Last but not least, my novel, Deadliest Intuition is my newest release. I would love for you to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do, of course. It is a psychological thriller. So if you're into psychological thrillers, I would love for you to take a look at what I have in store for you. Deadliest Intuition is available wherever books are sold. Let's get into the astrology. Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E-Ray Taronic here with your tarot and astrology for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to go over Sunday a little bit because it's two transits I want to talk about. Um, it's typically written in, in written form on my Facebook page at author E-Ray Taronic, so you can check it out there. But we are going to dive into it here. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that you appreciate the content that I am putting out. Okay, let's get into it Capricorn. Now, on Sunday, Chiron is going direct at eight degrees, which means this is healing your area of home and family. Okay, so where you've been having problems with your relationships and home and family, where you've been having problems with people in career, um, healing is coming in to those. Where you've been having issues with money, you know, for home and family, you know, or stagnation with money, resources for home and family, that is being healed. Your areas of Aquarius and Gemini are areas of assistance and opportunity. So you'll have money-making opportunities coming in to home and family, money coming in for home and family and money coming in through a home-based business. Work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others is an avenue for you to make money and garner resources. Resources for health, resources for a pet, resources during your daily routines, using your, utilizing your skills to garner money for home and family. It's blessing your areas of Sagittarius and Leo. So shared finances come in behind the scenes for home and family. Endings and new beginnings for home and family come in because of that healing. Sex and intimacy with someone in home and family is, uh, I hate saying home and family, let's just say home, okay? Because <laughs> hopefully it's just like your significant other or a live-in boyfriend or girlfriend. Where sex and intimacy is, is there, you're healing that area, you know, behind the scenes. Everybody might not know about it, but you're healing those areas. You're garnering closure for those areas, okay? Uh, this is your area of healing 
aspecting healing in Aries, you know? So that's wonderful for you, all right? If you have placements between, I'd say, 5 and 11 degrees of any of those signs, you're going to feel it Sunday. You're going to feel that healing coming in, okay? Venus is also going retrograde in Capricorn at 26 degrees. Venus has already been in your sign, so you already know what you've been dealing with there. But now with it going retrograde at 26 degrees, if you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees, you know, you're going to... This is this is you're going to feel this off rip, but it's going backwards and it's going to be retrograde until the end of July. I mean, the end of January. I think like on January 29th is when it goes direct. So you're going to be dealing with lovers from the past, uh, issues with a lover from the past, money issues from the past, money coming in that you've been waiting for from the past. Um, pleasure pursuits that you used to do, ha old hangouts, you'll be going and doing that again because that nostalgia will be there, especially if you have placements between that 23 and 29 degrees of any of the signs that I name. These are some of the things you're going to be dealing with, okay, with Venus going retrograde, all right? Money for, uh, you know, home and family from the past that you've been waiting for coming in, money through career and mastery coming in, uh, uh, let's see, I would say, um, yeah, old love partners coming in because it directly aspects cancer. So old love partners coming in, uh, friends, goals, and social groups in your area of Scorpio is an area of assistance and opportunities as well as Pisces. So what that means, um, uh, even with, uh, your siblings, neighbors, neighborhoods, you could be hanging around old neighborhoods, you know, going to the movies and, you know, hanging out with old neighbors and old friends. You could be, uh, let's see. Let's see. The areas of blessings are long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach. So yeah, you could be traveling somewhere, you know, that you wanted to travel to in the past and you finally get to do it with your romantic partner or your child or even uh, friends at a distance from you that you've been wanting to uh, you know, make some money with or maybe hang out with. They could be coming back in the picture and things like that, bringing you blessings. Um, let's move on from there. Okay. Now on Monday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 29 degrees. So you could be dealing with somebody in the area of, um, I'd say secret sacrifice, solitude, people behind the scenes, being immature, gossiping, getting into it with them, spreading rumors, you could be dealing with somebody who is um, doing that. You could also be dealing with some type of instability as it pertains to secrets, as it pertains to working in your solitude, as it pertains to the sacrifices you're making, as it pertains to your spirituality, as it pertains to your closure you're trying to gain. You know, you could be dealing with that. But there is some lucky assistance or opportunity aspecting from Aquarius to help some of those things out. If you have placements between 25 and 29 degrees of Aquarius or Cap, um, not Capricorn or Sagittarius, this could be some type of money or resources coming into you from behind the scenes. This could be an opportunity that maybe you thought you lost, you know, that was going on behind the scenes. And you could garner closure or healing because of that. OK, the, take advantage of this lucky opportunity if it's aspecting you. Now, also on Monday, the moon in Cancer at 13 degrees is going to trine Pallas and Pisces. So if you have placements between 10 and 16 degrees for you, this is going to be uh, your, about your relationships. A blessing coming in communicated to you, either through a sibling, a neighbor or someone in your networks of people. This also could be a blessing of sales because that's your area of sales as well. Uh, coming in and bringing you some sort of blessing if you have placements between that 10 and 16 degrees of Cancer or Pisces, okay? And it could help you increase your money or your reputation. It could help you rebuild your status, you know, as it pertains to um, your partnerships, you know, regaining your status in your partnerships. Now... Let's see. Let me start shuffling the cards at this point while we talk about Tuesday. Now, on Tuesday, the sun is in Sagittarius at 29 degrees. So this is where your intellect and your hard work can pay off for you. Um, 
especially I would say as it pertains to your areas of Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Because if you use your intuition and your spirituality, you could garner some type of shared finances for home and family. You can also be working really hard behind the scenes um, and your hard work can pay off for you, you know, when you're working in your solitude. Um, you could also, your areas of Aquarius and Libra, you could also see success there through money or resources coming in through a uh, career and mastery, whatever it is you master, uh, even a job. Okay, so this could be... Um, Mm. yeah coming in for you so check to see if you have any placements between 26 and 29 degrees because that's possible of any of those signs now later on in the day the sun is going to move into capricorn at zero degree so this is about you know make sure you're using your intuition as it pertains to your first impressions your soul your ego you know how you are perceived by others you know pay attention to what uh, downloads that you're getting also, you're going to see extra seek out extra opportunities to make money, okay? To garner resources, to um yeah, more jobs. You just got to make sure you're handling things with diplomacy because with the sun there, you are under a microscope. You are highlighted. And your friction is in Aries, Libra, and it directly aspects Cancer. If you have any placements between zero and three degrees of any of the signs I named, you're going to feel this off rip. If not, you'll feel it eventually as the planet moves through the nodes and it gets to your nodes. Now, as for the friction in home and family, you've got healing there. So that's okay. So that's the sun and Chiron. You're good there. But it's going to be healing challenges and career so they can be fixed, especially those with people with relationships you harbor. You also are going to have assistance and opportunities coming into you, communicated to you through friends, your networks of people, neighbors, and things like that. So be sure that you're communicating and asking for assistance because it's available to you through your areas of Scorpio and Pisces. Now, blessings are going to be coming in through what you think and preach, through your morals, through your spirituality, coming at a distance from you, okay? And those blessings will help to bring in lovers your way people who want to partner with you creatively you could also be traveling with children or with a lover you know long distances and this could be you know where you can really have fun you know because these things are going to be highlighted just make sure you don't overdo it because venus is already retrograde okay and you're going to be dealing with all of this for the next several weeks because the sun will be in Capricorn through 29 degrees and it's got to travel a degree a day. So you're going to be dealing with all that stuff I talked about for a while. OK, as far as this sun being in Capricorn. Now, also on Tuesday, Ceres retrograde is going to come back into Taurus at 29 degrees. So if you have placements between 26 and 29 degrees of Taurus, this could see you nurturing your money and resources to rebuild them as far as money with a romantic partner, money within a, a collaborative creative sphere, or even money with a child, child support, things like that. You know, you could be trying to build your resources, trying to build your money. Maybe some of you are going to court to get child support, you know. Sorry about that. It could be any of those things, okay. Uh, let's see, with, the, with that planet going back into to that area. Also on Tuesday, the moon at 26 degrees Cancer, your area of relationships, is going to oppose Venus and Capricorn. So it's going to oppose you. You and one of your relationships are either not agreeing with each other about money, not agreeing with each other about uh, pleasure pursuits, like where to go, where to hang out, what to spend money on, Um yeah, something, some, something is at odds there. Maybe a relationship at home and family wants to do something and you want to do something else. If you have placements between 23 and 29 degrees, um, things could conflict, okay? If you need to, uh, to, to talk to somebody who is objective, seek out a mentor or somebody else who's uh, ex more experienced and, you know, ask for help as to what you guys should do, okay? But be open to that. Don't be inflexible because you want to handle things with diplomacy. Now, as far as Wednesday, let me see if they want to give me any more messages before I talk about Wednesday because I got, whoa, whoa, those flew out. Let me see. 
All right. You know what? Okay, so you're trying to move forward, but it looks like you've got some sort of either you feel left out in the cold because of finances being up, up and down or or somebody feels left out in the cold from you because you got all of this stuff you're doing. You're trying to juggle and somebody's feeling left out in the cold from you. You're not spending, spending enough time with people. So it's either money. You're feeling left out in the cold from some money you were expecting and you're trying to move forward, but you got the uh, four of swords card upside down. And that talks about you doing too much probably. Okay. It could, it could indicate burnout. It could indicate you getting sick. Watch out for getting sick. It could indicate you isolating yourself from others um, for certain reasons. So, yeah, you could definitely get sick. So just be mindful uh, of that. Um, you could be experiencing burnout and you feel like you want to take a break. If you do, take a little break if you need to. But don't allow yourself to stay down for too long. You got to get back in the game and pick up where you left off because you'll miss out on valuable opportunities. Okay, you got to keep on moving forward. I know you sometimes you get tired, you know. I just had to take me a, a couple days break because I was like, you know what? Um, I need to replenish, you know, my reserves and stuff like that. I'm giving, giving, giving. And you know what? You got this left out in the cold card again on the bottom of the deck. So maybe even when you go in to retract and you're feeling that burnout and you're resting, it could be other people feeling left out in the cold by you, you know, because of that. OK, maybe you're not up to your normal self and it takes some time for you to rest and reflect. You know, you got to take time for rest and reflection. Don't don't let nobody make you feel bad for that. OK, now on Wednesday, the sun is in Capricorn, still at zero degree. It'll move later on in the night. But what I want to talk to you about as far as Wednesday is the moon and Leo uh, opposing Saturn and Aquarius. So some type of restriction or responsibility will surface and you got to take care of something. Don't let your friends get you into trouble. Don't let your friends make you overindulge. If you can't do something, you can't do it. Be assertive and tell them no. It is what it is. Okay. Because if you have placements in Leo or Aquarius between 7 and 13 degrees, this is talking about Share finances, endings, new beginnings, sex and intimacy, things that you're passionate about, directly opposing your money. So it might be some something you got to pay for or come out of some money for, but it's something else you want to do that you might be passionate about. You know, maybe it's even an argument of responsibilities as to who's paying what, who's paying for what, you know. Uh, if you're overindulging, you mess around and go to the bar with your friends and you're overindulging. And now it's like, who was going to pay for those drinks? Oh, I thought you were going to pay for them. Oh, I thought you were going to pay for them. You, you know, don't even put yourself in that situation. Be mindful. Your money is, is opposing on both ends with that, that issue there. And that might put some restrictions or responsibilities on you where you got to come out of pocket. Now, in addition to that, on Wednesday, the moon in Leo, two hours later, is going to square your it's going to square your worth as it pertains to romance, creative endeavors, and children. So this could be, like I said, that area of this is your area of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things that you're passionate about, and it's squaring your area of. Oh no, it's direct. Yeah, it's squaring your area of romance, creative endeavors, and children. So. This is sudden. So it could be a bill that pops up for a lover, a bill that pops up for a kid, or you could be hanging out with friends or a lover and, a, and the bill pops up and you're like, dang, I didn't know the bill was going to be that much. And now you got to come out of money to pay for it. And that makes sense too, because if you're at the bar and you're hanging out with friends already, and then the bill comes, you could even have a friend ditch you and leave and then you're stuck with the bill but it's going to be some type of shock that's coming to your money and you're gonna have to come out of some money if you have placements in leo or taurus between seven no between eight and 14 degrees okay so just be expecting okay your worth is going to be hampered in some way or you're coming out of some money it could even be if it's not money it could be your lover says something to you like about sex and intimacy that makes you feel like uh you know kind of off puts you like maybe tell you you look fat in your dress or you know 
you know, maybe they saying you you gain some weight or something like that, whether you're a man or a woman. It's something because sex and intimacy is squaring your romantic partners too. It could even be your child that says something that makes you feel like, dang, you know, that's bold. So, you know, just be mindful of that because that clash is there and it's hampering your worth in some sort of way as it pertains to a creative endeavor, a lover or a child. You could even be out with your lover and you catch them looking at somebody else. And that makes you feel like, oh, and it surprises you that they did that. But if you out drinking, yeah, you know, stuff like that can happen. So just be mindful of that. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to start going into the Oracle cards because I can tell you a thousand different scenarios that could happen with those uh, angles. But let's, let's ask Spirit what you're going to be dealing with for uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, what you could be going through for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Any messages that they want to give you. And then we'll ask about uh, your most likely outcomes, okay? So let's get these messages out, the most clear and concise messages that will help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Angels, ancestors, spirit guide, show me what I need to see for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. Good. Okay. All right. I only need one more for this part. Messages of truth and clarity for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that will help them on their path to their... Okay. All right. So what you're going to be dealing with for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your alone time. That makes sense. Remember, we talked about you going within. Other people are going to feel some type of way about it. They might feel left out in the cold, but you need to do what you got to do to replenish yourself and your reserves. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep or a vacation. See, now this is really clarifying. You see how these cards are clarifying what we talked about already in the astrology? You need to take a little break. It don't have to be a long break. Take a couple days. Rejuvenate yourself. Meditate. Get some sleep. Because if you don't get any sleep, where, where there is an abundance uh, or where there, there is a lack of rest, there is an abundance of stress, okay? You have to remember that. Um, let's see. You also have trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Don't let yourself sit around on negative people, no negative gossiping people that's bringing you down and bringing your energy down. Focusing on what frightens or worries. I'm going to tell you. Uh, and, and I used to say this all the time, um, thoughts become things. So if you're sitting there thinking about the worst case scenario of what can happen, that can make that happen. Okay. That can, especially if you have a powerful mind and you're a manifester, you can manifest what it is you're thinking about. So you have to be very careful of keeping your thoughts clean, especially if you're, uh, you know, in the spiritual realm or a spiritual healer, you can get so powerful that what you think about will come about. You know, I know I, I'm, I, I've always been like that. I can see something I want and think about it and get it. Okay. So, but you got to be careful, you know, what you wish for. So let's look at, um, let's oh okay wow okay so your most likely outcomes already came out your most likely outcomes an emotional fulfilling life with family or friends raising children wisely people you can trust this is wonderful so take some time to spend time with your children and people you can trust okay because they will make you feel more fulfilled in life this week you also have a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction. A journey is now complete. So you're going to complete a journey, most likely after you rest and reflect, you know, and meditate. Then that'll give you the clear audience messages so that you can move forward or complete something. A windfall of money advice or assistance from others so you could be pulling in advice or assistance from others or you could be gaining some type of money maybe you're garnering money for giving people advice or assistance but it's a very successful project and a happy change in your career is coming in okay and bringing you some money i hope you like these new cards that i have and uh, those are your messages i'll see you guys on thursday bye now